like the movie Cars. Remember on Cars when they rerouted the expressway around Route 66 and then the town died? That's kind of like Williams. I mean, it's on Route 66 and, you know, most people bypass it and go elsewhere. Yeah, the expressway is right over there. Right. That's the expressway. 40 just bypassed it. Is this a candy store? Yes, Salt, water, taffy, and candy. Looking at it. I asked him to pick one out. He says, I don't do cacti. They're bricks. It's Hot sauce. And more salt, water, taffy. Gonna show off my new bracelet? Yes. Yeah. That's my birthday present. Early birthday present. He lucked out. Now he doesn't have to go look for me a birthday present. A month early too. Yeah. He got he got lucky today. Went in a jewelry shop and found me a, found me a bracelet. Amazing how your definition of getting lucky changes when you're married. <laughs> I think we're gonna eat a pie. Ready for pie? Ready for pie? Who's ready for pie? Question is, do you miss it? I think we should sit down and eat, but look at all this pie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we had a visit to Williams. And how'd you make out? I made out really good. I got a beautiful Dry Creek turquoise bracelet. Dry Creek turquoise ring. And what else did we buy? Pie. We bought a whole pie. Not one our, slice. We got a pie. We got a pie. We're working out so that we can eat pie. <laughs> I, apparently so. <laughs> it's really, really good pie. It's worth the workout. This morning we're headed to the Grand Canyon for the first time for us. Got our e-bikes loaded. Gonna do some exploring. Maybe some hiking. Biking. Seriously, no joke. Getting in these parks is not cheap. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You need a map? Uh, yes, please. Any questions? Uh, no, it's our first time here. Awesome. I'd recommend starting five miles straight ahead in Mather Point. Uh, park your car, parking lot one, two, three, or four. Get out of your vehicle. Walk to the rim of the canyon, okay? Okay. Is there any good place to ride e-bikes? Um, we have a lot of place to ride bikes. If you have e-bikes, I'd recommend... Um, Hermit's Rest Road, just be cautious of shuttles. If a shuttle needs to pass you, pull off the trail, of okay? Okay, pull thank you. The road. Great, thank you very much. Welcome to Grand Canyon. Thank you. All right, that's where the book. Got it. Who's there, Center Mather's Point? Well, right now we are at the Grand Canyon. We're heading to Mather's Point Center. I don't care if the best photographer in the world can really capture just how beautiful this world is, how vast and deep. It's just it's incredible. 
like you can't believe your eyes. It's otherworldly. That dropped so deep, you wouldn't hear the thud. <laughs> you would hear the oh, no thud. I have been falling for 30 minutes. the day we just hiked biked the Grand Canyon not all of it just a small portion of it but <laughs> I'm still overwhelmed by it is that an elk those are elk I guess would be the best word for it. I don't know the words to put together to describe it, but I didn't expect it to be emotional, but it actually was pretty emotional. Extremely emotional. You know, I thought it would be like one of those, ooh, ah, and it was more like, whoa. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. Yeah. The depth of it and how vast, how vast it was. And you really feel so small. Next to it. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Walking down is fine. Walking up, take your dear sweet time because we're at 7,000 feet. So here we go. <laughs> Cause nothing 
nothing really matters. This is built for me. I was the right size people at one time. <laughs> Store hundred days worth of water in here. So that little short one right here was actually the water room. The water room. Yeah, they could store hundred days worth of water in there. It's amazing. Well, in the wintertime, you have to think that would be coming to water. Yeah. So this room, this room right here would have been for storing water. Yes, we have far we've come since observation. Yes, since the observation. <laughs> Time to go. I don't see a helicopter on her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first light. Not too bad. <laughs> be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Because I want to be close to you. It's a, it's a line to adapt to live on a cliff like this, in a ravine like this, and then just leave it. Well, and that's what I mean. By 12.50, they said they've left. Can count on me for that. So put your hand in mine, I will be there every day when you I walk sideways and like cactus. Yeah, I was gonna say our honey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you either have a cactus <laughs> or the cliff. <laughs> or the cliff. <laughs> It's called the walnut cannon because of the walnut tree that only grows here, and there's like 2,000 of them at the bottom, so they named it Walnut Cannon. Two trails, one very easy, wheelchair accessible. Come out and you can look at the cannon from the room and see the um, cliff dwellings. The other one is called the Island Trail. It's a half mile in and a half mile out. Half mile in, no problem. There's a third option too, right there. Yeah. That's it. Half mile in, no problem. Half mile out. Apparently I have some difficulties with altitude. <laughs> so bring water. Actually, the very nice thing, they have water stations. Or a water station. Bring Gatorade. Bring Gatorade. Gatorade's better. Water <laughs> Really, really sucks. Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, it tastes better too. I love going for hikes. Get to see all kinds of cool stuff. This is why you need an America Beautiful Pass. There are so many national parks even within a state. Um, 
Grand Canyon alone was, I think, $35 to get into. Here it's $15 a person to get into. Find so, a small portion quickly if you try to go to do many of them. Right, and then you just want to go over to the Crater um, Park, and that's another $30. So right there, you've already paid for your pass. Walnut Canyon was awesome. Loved it. Got to see lots of cliff, cliff dwellings. I don't know, I just had a good day today. Another beautiful day in the canyon. Get, on the rim of the canyon. Yeah, on the rim of the canyon. Got gorgeous views everywhere. Perfect weather. As long as you don't go too far out on the edge and get windy. <laughs> Day two at the South Rim, heading back to the train. <laughs> get to go on the train ride back home so we don't have to, we get to relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice not to have to, to drive after hiking all day. <laughs> exactly. Just be able to jump in a train and throw our stuff down and go, ah. Curse, on the way here was Class A. We're going back on coach, so we'll see what the difference yeah, is. Yeah, we'll see what the difference is. Class A was really nice. Get to Sit on a big comfy couch, big open window. We served food and, and drinks. It was kind of nice. Bright Angel Trail is, uh, I believe, nine miles down and nine miles out. 
so yeah. I'd be <laughs> okay. Like, I'd be okay with down, but out. Down, yeah. <laughs> they say they rescue something like 200 people a year. I think. Uh, I might have that wrong. I have to double check, but something like that because people think, oh, I can hike it today and come out, and they're dehydrated, and exhaustion. No, they can't. <laughs> so make sure you you set up for camping for a night or two down there. Gatorade commercial in the making. <laughs> Brain Angel Trail zigzagging down into the canyon. Right. Good work. That's all fault line right there. We just said it, we're gonna say it again. <laughs> Went around another corner. Can't, wow. Views can't get any better, can they? No, they can't get possibly get better than what we just saw. They go around the corner. Woo! This is so dramatic and so overwhelming. Literally, we'll take your breath away. Not just because it's windy. <laughs> That'll get it's, you too, though. I mean, we've come around corners and seen horses, elk, deer. deer. Uh, chipmunks everywhere. <laughs> lizards, chipmunks, prairie dogs. Um, it's it's amazing. I mean, we've seen eagles, we've seen hawks, um, condors, condor. Um, it's it's a magical place. That's all I can say. Just to be redundant. <laughs> Another corner, Another, just as beautiful. Another amazing view. I know the camera's not gonna capture it. I know I'm not gonna be able to verbally describe it to you, but it's amazing. It's breathtaking. It's <laughs> I hope you get to see it in person. Gotta have our little truck commercial here. Oh yeah, these bikes have been Google, Googled, bundled, <laughs> whatever you want to talk. Test Talked ridden. To, test ridden. We've today. had people test ride our bikes today. <laughs> Loved upon, lusted after. <laughs> here I am, right in front of you. Look at me when I say, I'm sure what I'm doing is up this let me stay. Till the morning comes and take me away. So please let me stay. Never mind. Apologize our mistakes here and now. And I love explode, show me how you do it alright. 
We made a hermit's rest. Because this is where you rest after going the full seven miles. It seems like ice cream is the choice of snack <laughs> at the concession stand that's here. <laughs> that's why they call it hermit's rest. There's there's a place to go to the potty. <laughs> there's a place to get, get some ice snacks. snacks and uh, of course souvenirs. Souvenirs, yeah, always souvenirs. And you can catch the shuttle back if you need to. And they have bike. They can carry your bike back for you. Yeah. If you can't bike it back.